Hey guys, so I managed to grab uh, an updated model of my Dell Inspiron uh, gaming laptop here. So I think this is the early 2017 uh, version. And I want to do a quick little video here comparing with the older version, which I've been using since I think 2016. Uh, fantastic little workhorse here, you know, a little bit of video editing, a bit of gaming. Uh, so I've been comparing the two laptops. I think there's definitely uh, some pros and cons here which you might want to be aware of here. Uh, so first things first, when we look at the styling, you can see you have got rid of the kind of red accents that you did get on the previous model, uh, which I think gave it a little bit of attitude here, made it look a bit unique. You can see with this one, it's just a little red one here. Uh, I do like uh, the kind of, um, the uh, what do you call it, you know, uh, the part which connects the screen to the keyboard. I think that looks a lot better uh, than obviously these kind of hinges here. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks a little bit boring in comparison to the previous model. But, uh, you know, you do get, obviously, the bump in performance. This is coming, I think, with the i7, uh, with the GTX 1050. I know they've just released a new model uh, with the 1060, but, you know, I, mean, I like to get last year's model because it's more tried and tested at the end of the day, and I think it'll meet my needs pretty well. Uh, you're getting, as well, the, I think, Cabby Lake uh, architecture. Uh, so I have noticed a uh, bump in terms of the performance, actually, for many things, because this was the GTX 960M. And while it was a decent process back in the day, it's like it started to slow down quite a lot now. So we just uh, do a speed test comparison here, boot up, see which one comes on first. Both are running the uh, i7, as I said, but the i7 is the 7700. In uh, the oh, so my <laughs> my older. Uh, Laptop seems to beat the new laptop, which isn't a good sign, and it came up with a pop up as well. Uh, so you can see, you know, the left laptop has still got a lot of fight left in it. Both have SSDs, by the way, uh, so I'm not cheating when it comes to that. I think when you buy these, they don't have SSDs, so you know, you will have to go into the back and uh, swap it out if you do want the best performance. And it's quite easy to upgrade these actually. Uh, just a single kind of uh, screw there which you open and you do get uh, as well a part for like a traditional hard drive if you want even more storage. Uh, so in terms of the usability, you know, I have found there are some issues here. Uh, I think uh, in terms of the screen, they still haven't fixed that. Uh, it's still coming with the, like a very kind of, uh, shall we say, basic screen. I mean, it gets the job done, but... I think it's like uh, TFT here. You can see the viewing angle is uh, pretty awful, similar to the older model. But I'm going to fix that actually. I have brought uh, like a um, LCD here, which is an IPS screen for this particular model laptop. So that uh, is quite a cheap fix actually for you know something which you do really want. You want a good screen here on a gaming laptop. Uh, but I guess that's how they keep the price like below a thousand euro. Uh, so that's the first thing. The next thing is that it runs a little bit noisier than I would have liked. I mean, maybe if you, you can uh, hear this, but it's definitely making some noise here. And if I just uh, turn that off, you can hear that the noise is gone now. This The older model is way quieter, uh, I have noticed. So if you're someone who doesn't like fan noise, uh, you know, do bear that in mind. I think it's probably the more hefty specification. So, yeah, you can definitely hear the noise there. But other than that, as I said, you know, the actual performance, like editing, uh, a little bit of gaming is top notch, really. I definitely notice it's a much faster kind of laptop day to day. I wasn't expecting that actually to be such a massive difference, really. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little comparison here, user review of uh, these two laptops. They've probably been out for quite a while now, and as I said, there is a new 1060 model that you can get. Uh, but if you can get some good deals on the, the 1050 model, I definitely recommend it still. I uh, hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.